Hi, my name is Kenny. I'm with Structured Solutions. Today I wanted to introduce you to our newest tool, the SSI Schedule Sanitizer. The SSI Schedule Sanitizer is something that's new to our current version of SSI Tools for Microsoft Project 1370. Now before I get into showing you the tool, I want to talk a little bit about what this term sanitizing the schedule means. On a lot of contracts, it's very typical for a customer to require an updated copy of the project schedule to be submitted each reporting cycle. Now, Microsoft project files have lots of data in them. Some of this data might be considered non-essential or unnecessary for an outside organization to see, right? It might just be used for internal purposes. And there also might be proprietary data in the Microsoft project file data that's considered to be confidential or secret to a scheduler's organization. This might be something like rates on resources. Schedule sanitization is the process of removing this data from the project file before it's sent out to any outside organization. All right, let's get into the tool. To open the SSI Schedule Sanitizer, Locate the Schedule Sanitizer button in the SSI Analysis Tools ribbon in Microsoft Project. Just note that you'll only see this button if you're on SSI Tools for Microsoft Project version 13.7.0 or greater. I'm going to go ahead and click the button to open the form, and it looks like this. I'm going to walk you through the major elements of this form here. Starting at the top, we have these different ribbons, one that says task items, resource items, and project items. These tabs represent data that the schedule sanitizer can remove from the project file when it performs the sanitization process. Task items is data that's held at the task level. So that might be things like the different task fields, text fields, number fields, flag fields, the resource assignments on the tasks, the task baseline work and baseline costs, etc. Resource items is data that's held at the resource level. So that's all the stuff that's in the resource sheet of Microsoft Project. And project items is anything that's held at the project level. This might be something like macros that are stored in the project, custom views, tables, groups, filters, etc. I'm going to go over to the task items tab. And I'm going to choose some things to sanitize from the schedule. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the text one field and the text two field in my schedule, just so you can see them. So you can see that text one and text two, both of these columns have a bunch of data in them. Now this data might be non-essential to whoever I'm going to be submitting the schedule to, or it might be proprietary to my organization. Either way, I want to remove it prior to sending it out. To tell the schedule sanitizer that I want to remove it, I'm going to come to the main area here. And I'm already on the different text fields. And I'll just select text one and two. And I'm going to move them from the list that says items to save into the list that says items to clear by clicking the add button. Notice now that in items to clear, I have text one and text two. I can do that with any number of the, the different custom fields that exist in Microsoft Project. For now, I'll just keep it on these two fields. I'm also going to choose the option to delete resource assignments and remove baseline work and baseline cost. I'm going to open up those columns now. All right, so I've got my resource names column open up, my baseline work and baseline costs, just so you can see that a lot of these tasks in my schedule do have resources, as shown here by the resource name column, and they also have baseline work and baseline costs associated with them. Another important note is that the schedule sanitizer will never uh, remove baseline start, finish, or duration. It will always keep that the same. If I'm happy with the selections that I've made, I can click the Sanitize Schedule button, but before I do that, I'm going to save a settings configuration for this. 
So I wanna be able to return back to these settings and rather than going through the whole process of moving the things that I want to be cleared out, I'm just gonna save a configuration that has all of that prepared for me. I'm gonna do that by clicking the button that says save current settings. It just asks me to give me my settings a name. So I'll call this example video settings. And it tells me that the settings have been saved. And you'll see now that the settings uh, drop down box shows example video settings. If I had settings that I had saved previously, they'll show up in the list here. So I had created a, a configuration before called example project sanitization. Notice that if I click on that, it's showing a whole bunch of fields to be cleared out, uh, not just the ones that I had selected just a moment ago. I'm gonna go back to the example video settings and you'll see that now this only has text one and text two set to be cleared. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the button now that says sanitize schedule. As soon as I do this, it's going to open up a warning box for me that's just going to tell me Hey, the schedule sanitizer is about to remove data from the project file. It's recommended that you do this on a copy of the real project schedule, or at least save a copy of the project schedule prior to doing this. And then it's also giving me an important disclaimer, just letting me know that since I am removing resource assignments from my task, there is a possibility that task start and finish dates could change. Now the SSI schedule sanitizer performs a whole bunch of actions in the background to make sure that all the tasks in the schedule stay the, on the exact same dates and, as they were uh, before the sanitization process occurs. Okay, I wanna go ahead and proceed with the sanitization. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the yes button here and it's gonna go through. And I get a message now that's saying the sanitization was complete with no issues. And you'll see that in that text one and text two fields, all of the data has been removed along with the resource names, the baseline work and the baseline costs. However, all my tasks are still on their, their previous, their prior start and finish dates. So no changes were made to my tasks start, finish or duration. So I just performed a sanitization. Now I'm ready to send this project file off to whoever I would like to send it to, whether that be a customer or a supplier or any outside organization. I've removed the things from the schedule that are sensitive to my organization or only used by my organization. And I'm ready to give this uh, to another third party. And that's how easy it can be to use the SSI schedule sanitizer. For information about more SSI tools or to sign up for a free demo, visit our website, ssitools.com.